Hello, thank you. Uh, so my name is Raika. I'm from OpenGate. Uh, I'm the CMO. Uh, how can I? Uh, oh, this one got it. Okay. Uh, so OpenGate is headquartered in Sydney, Australia. We're a Web3 service platform under OpenGate Tech, and we're focusing on the application of NFT technology. Uh, and IP commercial cooperation. OpenGate holds a legitimate cryptocurrency asset trading license in Australia. With a global leading cryptocurrency technology concept and an international development team, OpenGate provides comprehensive services such as professional consulting, planning, and execution for institutions or individuals such as anime cultural IP, artists, governments, enterprises, brands, and celebrities to enter the NFT market and implement digital marketing. Uh, in addition to being the sole notary and corporate ambassador for Filecoin in Australia, OpenGate is dedicated to actively collaborating with Filecoin's ecosystem partners. Currently, the ecosystem partners exceed more than 300. And I think we can all agree that if we work together, all will all benefit. Uh, so we're the leading traffic platform in the Filecoin ecosystem. We've got over 100 communities um, and key opinion leaders. Uh, we've hosted over 200 online and offline events. Uh, we've got over 100,000 individuals uh, with our Discord community alone at 30,000 and Dbox is close to 7,000. Uh, prior to the launch of FVM in February 2022, we had already embarked on traffic development efforts uh, within the FVM ecosystem. So over this year, we've got six uh, major goals that we want to work on. Uh, one is developing innovative protocols to enhance the global position of the FVM chain, uh, attract traffic by introducing renowned IP, establish a data DAO organization to contribute high value data storage, fulfill the private placement financing needs of the FVM project, attract Web3 traffic for enterprises and build Web3 brands, uh, and provide DID identity for users in the Filecoin ecosystem. So if we look at developing innovative protocols to enhance the global position on the FVM chain, uh, the on-chain trading data of NFTs is expected to pass that of Phantom, Avax, and BSC, uh, making it the third largest NFT public chain, only behind Ethereum and Solana. Uh, we've actually already passed Phantom. Um, so here if we have a look at increasing Filecoin on-chain NFT assets, uh, they're a crucial metric for evaluating each public chain. Uh, NFTs can generate high quality on-chain assets for the Filecoin public chain, hopefully get us into spot number three. The current status of the NFT sector is pivotal and securing a position within the top three would significantly elevate Filecoin's standing among global public chains. Uh, here, as you can see on NFT scan, I provide some insight into NFT transaction data across various public chains, with Ethereum uh, undoubtedly in spot number one. And our objective is to lead Filecoin into the NFT sector, ensuring that Filecoin's NFT's uh, transaction data ranks among the top three chains in the NFT sector. Uh, so here's some stats for you guys. Uh, at the moment, we've got 103, 260,000 assets, uh, over 200,000 um, fill and 10,855 wallets that are currently active. As of March 2024, the trading volume of the NFT sector has already, uh, on the FVM, has already passed other chains such as Phantom, Aptos and OP Mainnet. Um, and of course, I'm sure you're all aware the integration of uh, real world assets and NFT is a crucial direction for future innovation and development. So through our innovative ERC 3339 protocol, high quality Australian assets such as government bonds, funds, real estate, hotels, warehouses, gas stations, and so on, uh, will be tokenized into RWA as the form of NFTs. It's expected that within three years, this initiative will bring over 200 million worth of high quality on-chain assets to Filecoin, uh, thereby increasing the liquidity of real world assets 
and facilitating the purchase of premium and stable assets for the Web3 community. Uh, we're also set to release the ERC-407 protocol, which combines NFTs with DeFi to help enhance NFT liquidity. Sold ERC-20 tokens will be placed into a blind box, providing an opportunity to open a new blind box when purchasing new NFTs. By leveraging the rarity of NFTs, this stimulates transactions and increases NFT liquidity. So the SBT incentive protocol, um, it's something we've developed as a reward mechanism for data DAO. So users who upload valuable data will receive three different levels of SBT, each corresponding to token wards. Our second goal for this year is we want to attract a traffic by introducing renowned IP. So we're doing this through collaborating with celebrities, renowned enterprises, uh, well-known IPs, which I'll go through in a little bit who they are, uh, to issue NFT series. So we aim to attract traffic into the entire FVM ecosystem. Uh, this strategy will not only increase the number of Filecoin holders over to 1 million, but also enhance Filecoin's global influence. So uh, here are some of the IPs that we're currently working with. So we've signed over 168 famous IPs, varying from contemporary artists, sports stars, uh, animation IPs, and musicians. Uh, and the total value of this is over two million US dollars. So I'm sure you guys would be all familiar with Pleasant Goat and Big Big Wolf. Uh, it's garnered over 23 billion views uh, on social media uh, and it's got over 19 million fans. As well as, depending on your age, Fabio Cannavaro. Um, so from 2006 to 2007, Cannavaro won numerous championships and honours, uh, including the FIFA World Cup, uh, La Liga title, Ballon d'Or, uh, and FIFA World Player of the Year. And he was also the World Soccer Player of the Year. Uh, as well as Shen Jingong, uh, who's the Dean of the Oil Painting Academy at the China Academy of Art. Um, he's got a considerable following, uh, including fans such as Zhang Yi and Chen Kun. Uh, and in music, world-renowned composer Joseph Fong. So he served as the chair of the 25th International Computer Music Conference, uh, was appointed as a commissioned composer for the United Nations Global Environment Facility um, at the 2002 Environmental Promotion Conference. So we've launched the world's first NFT project payable with Phil. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this and have seen it at some stage. Uh, Crypto Bear. So Crypto Bear was the first NFT series globally to be purchased using Phil. Uh, there was a total supply of 5,000 uh, and they hold some historical significance akin to, I'm sure you would know Ethereum's CryptoPunks. Uh, and they were designed by artists from the Royal Australian Mint uh, for Filecoin enthusiasts. Uh, the Crypto Bear NFT community comprises some major Filecoin miners, developers, major file, Filecoin holders uh, that are all dedicated to the development of the Filecoin ecosystem. So these Crypto Bears were actually inspired by Australia's koalas. Um, the entire NFT art series incorporates various images from movies, animations, world famous personalities. Um, the attention to detail, creativity, uh, artistic depth and authenticity of the artworks reach unprecedented levels, making them highly valuable for art collectors. The Crypto Bear NFT holds an irreplaceable historical position within the Filecoin ecosystem, not only because it's the first, but people can also draw some likeness to Ethereum's um, CryptoPunks. Uh, some of the CryptoPunks are individually valued at over a million dollars, and of course, as the Filecoin ecosystem grows, the value of crypto bears will increase as well. Our third goal for this year is we want to establish a data DAO organization to contribute high value data storage. So through innovative NFT contracts and establishment of various data DAO organizations, we aim to digitize various types of data, including art, music, short films, photography, documentaries, world cultural heritage, and store the metadata on Filecoin. Our plan is to contribute over 300 petabytes of effective data storage. 
So we'll establish the artist DAO. Uh, we're going to collaborate with associations such as the Association of Literary Critics, the Australian Cultural Communication Association, to establish the artist DAO. This initiative aims to encourage more artists to store their works in NFT format on Filecoin. We're also going to do a similar concept uh, with the Musicians DAO. And we're also going to establish the Enterprise DAO. So we're collaborating with organisations such as the Australian New Zealand Chamber of Commerce, Trade Promotion Association and RCEP to establish an entrepreneur club. This club aims to attract Web3 traffic for enterprises and build Web3 brands. It will promote IPFS and Filecoin technologies and cultivate and deliver high quality customers for service providers. Uh, we'll also establish the movie DAO as well. We're currently working with this in Sydney. And our fourth goal for this year is fulfill the private placement financing needs on the FVM project. Uh, through NFT launch platforms, NFT staking protocols, and the Australian Web3 incubation base, uh, we aim to assist in incubating and financing FVM projects. So one of the platform features, uh, it will act as a launch pad um, so we'll be able to facilitate fundraising for projects um, and they'll also be able to stake their NFTs to linearly release their project tokens. Uh, we've established an Australian Web3 Incubation Centre uh, in Sydney to provide the following services. Uh, celebrity endorsements, talent recruitment, shared office spaces, compliance and legal support, um, and attendance of political figures and planning of charitable events as well. Our fifth goal for this year is we want to attract Web3 traffic for enterprises and help them build a Web3 brand. Um, so this so will help enterprises to issue NFTs on FVM, attracting Web3 traffic for them, helping them to build a Web3 brand and promoting IPFS distributed storage technology. So here's some examples of some brands that we've collaborated with uh, and helped promote. Uh, Fantastic Wesley in collaboration with Hong Kong Four Seas Group. Um, so Hong Kong Four Seas Group is a listed company here in Hong Kong, uh, as well as MSG. Uh, it's a century-old jewelry brand in Thailand, uh, and their project was also in collaboration with Fantastic Wesley. Uh, New Pearl Group, uh, well-known large-scale building materials enterprise group in China. And our last goal for this year, which I think will bring a lot of benefit, is we want to provide DID identity for users in the Filecoin ecosystem. So go into this a little bit more. Uh, so Filecoin Naming Service, or FNS, is a decentralized domain name service based on Filecoin's EVM. It resolves metadata into easily readable .fi names. Each FNS domain is treated as an NFT and the FNS contract conforms to the ERC721 standard interface. NFTs can be transferred and traded on the secondary market. FNS is similar to Ethereum's ENS uh, and Handshake. FNS allows users to access data stored on the Filecoin network using easy to remember domain names. Uh, users can access FNS as an identity to access the Web3 world by integrating DNS domains into their FNS. Their domain names can serve as wallet addresses, Web3 usernames, uh, as well as decentralized websites. So here's some uh, data. So currently we rank first in terms of registration volume and number of holders within the Filecoin ecosystem. So currently we've got um, almost 100,000, 98,076 um, registrants, and we continue to grow steadily on a monthly basis. Uh, we've also established the world's first secondary trading market for Filecoin domain names, uh, with this total exceeding more than 100,000. Uh, FNS was also once honored with the Filecoin ecosystem monthly MVP title, Uh, we boast the world's only secondary market for Filecoin domain names. And PhilScan, the leading browser for Filecoin, has now also integrated FNS. 
And in addition to being able to bind wallet addresses for transferring FNS domain names and tokens, uh, FNS domains can also serve as storage accounts as well. Um, so building decentralized websites with FNS domain and we're hosting it on IPFS. So this is our roadmap for the rest of this year. Uh, as we come into quarter two, um, we're aiming to establish the artist DAO, opening the secondary market for NFT series such as the Crypto Bears, uh, launch of Web3 Cloud Wallet app, uh, an achievement of 100,000 registrations for FNS, uh, which will happen very soon, uh, and establishment of Web3 incubation base, which is also almost up and running as well. Uh, as we come into quarter three, we want to pre prepare for the listing of the FNS project on trading platform. Uh, in, we're going to introduce the ERC-407 protocol, establish the musician DAO, uh, and hopefully we'll hit 200,000 registrations for FNS and also establish AI-generated NFT sector. And in the final quarter of this year, uh, we aim to build the enterprise NFT sector uh, build the celebrity NFT sector, uh, assist projects in the FVM ecosystem with fundraising, <clears throat> uh, launch the fundraising for building decentralized websites with FNS domains, and by this time we expect to hit half a million registrations for FNS decentralized domain names. So that's pretty much all from me today, um, and I think we can all agree it's really important we all work together. Um, the ecological construction is very important to Filecoin. Uh, we hope to work together, not just with the Filecoin Foundation, uh, Protocol Labs, but all of the partners here uh, to introduce more traffic into the ecosystem, improve Filecoin's global influence through various organizations, add more high quality on-chain assets and data storage, um, and that we also hope through the Australian Web3 Centre, we can provide ecological partners with financing, community building, brand promotion and quality services. Um, and if you scan this, you can also get the NFT, the Corgi NFT from today to match your toy. Uh, we've got a raffle that ends in two hours with these prizes over here. Uh, and you can enter that by joining our Telegram or our WeChat group. Um, so if you haven't already joined the Crypto Bear community, please make sure you join it um, so that we can participate together. <clears throat>